Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create email notifications in ServiceNow. I have logged into my ServiceNow instance. Now let us see how to create email notifications. Click all in the filter search for notifications. Okay, so we are going to do email notification, right? So select the notifications under email. So now we are in the notifications list view. We could see all the existing notifications, right? And in the right side, you have an option called new. Click that. Now we are in the notification form view. First, we need to give a name to the notification. So I wanted to send an email notification whenever an incident is created, right? So I'm going to call it as incident notification. Okay. And then we need to select the table because this is for the incident. So I'm going to select the incident table. Okay. And then the category right let's search for incident okay so select the incident right so the category is incident and um, so we have we could see there are three tabs available right the first is when to send right so when uh, send when we have three options record inserted or updated or even fired or triggered okay so i'm going to i want to this notification to be sent whenever there is a record inserted or and updated Okay, so that's why I'm going to select both. Okay, and then if you wanted to add any filter conditions, you'll be able to add that. And then who will receive, right? Okay, so what I wanted to do is I want this notification to be going to a specific user, right? So I'm going to select unlock users, and then I'm going to search for that user. Okay, I want this notification to be sent to Able Tutor. Okay, right? So everything looks good. Okay, and then what it will contain. Okay, so next is up again about the email template what we will use okay so we are going to look up the list okay so we will use the employee notification template okay, okay i'm going to give the subject as incident creator update okay and then the message you'll be able to give it in the html you'll be able to um, add any images all these things are possible you'll be able to create a table everything and also you can add the some additional fields here so you'll be able to uh, add the fields like uh, i mean what is the incident impact right so uh, and when it was last reopened and all these informations whatever you want we will be able to add it we'll do is i'm going to save it so what we will do is let's add few more fields because just the incident state is not going to uh, provide much help maybe we'll just add the uh, category and then uh, we will add um, created by okay we need to update okay so we'll be able to preview the notification okay so now it's going to give the category and created by whom and the incident closed okay all good Okay, but I just wanted to put it in a separate this thing, so I'll just do that. Okay, so all good. So I'm just going to update it. Okay, so now we have created a email notification where it is going to send an email to the able tutor, right? So whenever there is an incident created or updated. Okay, so now let's test it. Okay, go all. We'll go to incidents. click incidents so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to update one of the incident and check whether the notification is happening okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the in progress state to on hold okay and then i'm going to update it right okay on hold so i need to specify a reason uh, so awaiting change okay then i'm going to click update okay. so now let us go and see whether a notification has been triggered or not so that we will be able to check in the outbox okay outbox so now we could see an email notification has been sent to the user able tutor with the subject incident created updated okay in this demo we have seen how to create email notifications in service now if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo